Hello and welcome to a new video. And as once per month, almost, it's a Scrolla box. Uh, the February 2022 Scrolla box uh, uh, number 78. So, uh, we'll start first with the uh, in and the print from the artist. Uh, the artist who is Katie Smith and um, you can find her on different uh, networks socials uh, she's from uh, she was born in Scotland but she lives in uh, in uh, Zurich in Switzerland so and you can see already the aquarelle watercolor pad uh, by Claire Fontaine, uh, a simple A5 pad uh, that is uh, 300 GSM uh, in A5. It's a gold line aqua pad. Uh, so it's a new addition to the Claire Fontaine line with a paper that is 100% cellulose, medium fine grain watercolor paper, uh, perfect for all of your water based medium exploration. It's acid free, I guess it's a standard now. Um, it's a natural off white color that is obtained without the use of an optical brightener. Uh, the grain on this paper is stronger on one side to ensure maximum absorption and smooth on the back so it's intended for one-sided use and it retails for uh, 3.50 pounds. Uh, I will not use it and use my watercolor sketchbook made of uh, different watercolor papers. Anyway, uh, you can see uh, the treat, uh, uh, I guess it's uh, vegan, uh, but I don't care about it. Uh, the sticker, as usual, an extract from the print. Uh, the Sakura White Jelly Roll Pen in uh, 08. Uh, it didn't work for me, uh, as usual, with Jelly Roll uh, Sakura Pens. Um, uh, we'll go back to it later. And the uh, Juant uh, Pastel Shades Paint Pan Set. So watercolors in pastel. Uh, about the Sakura White Jelly Roll Pen, um, it features a specialized ink that is designed not to feather, smear, or bleed through most papers. The water-based gel ink will offer a consistent flow of light-fast ink that is also fade-resistant and waterproof, so it is great for painting with your wet medium creations. Uh, right now you can see the challenge, it's between the reef and the menu that I'm reading right now. Uh, more about the Sakura White Jelly Roll Pen. Uh, this brilliant wall pen will be perfect for adding that it's essential pop of highlight or focal features to your pastel creations. And it retails for 2.15. But uh, it didn't work for me. But, uh, the white pen wasn't really useful. As you will see, the pastel watercolors are really... Uh, uh, not dark at all, they're really bright. So right now I'm sketching, if you're wondering, it's uh, for now almost uh, for the rest of the video. Until almost the end, it will be accelerated three times. So I'm just sketching with a simple chorus twin pen and um, choosing the red part in my watercolor sketchbook. Um, more about the pastel shades uh, paint pan set from Dewant. It retails for thirty pounds. So I guess we we will really have our money back with this scroll box. Uh, so these gouache style pigmented paints are uniquely soft and light formulated uh, pastel shades. 
These gentle colors are perfect for romantic washes and dreamy blends, but they can also be layered for a brighter finish without dissolving any previously dried layers. This means you can build up thick opaque layers to create a more dramatic bright and matte finish. So the possibilities with this palette are endless. This compact set uh, contains 12 pastel paint pens, a mini water brush, 5 mixing palettes and a sponge to clean your supplies. Um, I didn't use the Gewant uh, brush as I already have a lot of watercolor brushes. Um, so this uh, this palette is uh, is made of uh, five colors. Uh, you can see the sheet on the screen uh, from uh, the top to down and left to right. It's uh, in the upper row, it's lemon, peach, coral pink, pink flamingo, orchid pink, and lavender. And in the, uh, the bottom row, it's uh, cornflower blue, turquoise, mint, artichoke, storm gray, and silver blue. Um, we uh, there's a a bit of uh, lack of uh, primary colors you can make up uh, maybe with the uh, pink flamingo the cornflower blue or turquoise and the lemon but uh, it's not really uh, the primary colors but it's pastel colors so anyway uh, as you can see i'm using a flat brush well two flat brush uh, so now I'm just sweating the paper uh, to put the, the blue watercolors uh, just to figure out the C. Um, uh, th there's a little joke on the first spread of the of the scrolls in uh, you have a little peek of the menu but the menu is was not uh, completely determined so they always put a little text uh, on this uh, false menu and it's saying as always this is just some non scroll box related filler text for illustrative purposes your resupply menu is in the box unless you want to read it we're not stopping you uh, ever wished you had more time in the day, move to Venus. Due to its slow axis rotation, a day on Venus lasts the equivalent of 243 Earth days. There's always a um, fun fact uh, in this uh, false supply menu. But anyway, um, uh, so we have a sit down with the score artist Katie Smith. Uh, but uh, I will let you read it and uh, you can pause on the beginning of the video I uh, I uh, showed you all the spreads of the scrolls in uh, so you can pause and read them uh, we have as always a few tips uh, uh, so the um, artist advice is uh, if you're working with a good watercolor brand you should be able to remove watercolor from your paper even after it's dried by adding a, li by adding a little water and lifting some color out you can achieve great levels of fade light bursts and delicate layers Using some additional simple household items with your watercolor can help achieve some great textures. Most people have heard of a salt technique, but you can also use a cling film over your wet surface, and when it's dry, it gives a great effect. Or you can try using a kitchen sponge to blot and give bubbles or a rough texture, then apply water to make it washy in the areas you need. Uh, for the things uh, recommended by uh, Scrubbox, uh, it's always in the um, in the view of you getting started started with the with a new medium. So in this case, watercolor. Uh, when setting up, we recommend using two pots for water, one to rinse your brush and one to clean it. Uh, you can see it <laughs> on the video, but I didn't do this I had two pots of uh, I had one pot of water 
So, uh, keeping two pots for water will prevent you from in unintentionally mixing your colors, keeping them nice and clean. Uh, for my pot, I like to mix a lot of these colors, and you will see I use uh, always the same uh, uh, the same uh, surfaces to mix because I like when they blend together. But it's a uh, personal choice. Uh, the D1 pastel paints are very soft and light, so they are perfect for creating a light or delicate wash. However, they can also be layered once dry to create a brighter and more opaque finish. And you can see I used the two techniques, uh, the wash and the layering. Patience is key. If you plan on working in layers, make sure the underneath layer is absolutely dry. Watercolors aren't permanent, but if you let them fully dry, they are far less likely to move when reapplying, when reapplying another wet layer. This will prevent things like color muddiness and watery tidal marks. That being said, you can, cram some, you can create some nice effects while the paint is still wet. So try swapping a clean wet brush across fresh, across fresh paint. Uh, you can also dab some uh, paint on a tissue. Or, uh, yeah, and the white jelly roll is super opaque, making it ideal for layering of other paints. Great for going back in with some finer finishing details and of course highlights. You can also paint on top of the ink for a brighter pop of pastel color. Once dry it becomes waterproof and will not smear or feather. Uh, yeah, you can uh, paint over the white uh, jelly roll pen. Uh, as usual for my uh, for myself it didn't really work. Anyway, uh, I won't speak about the paper as it's a uh, usual one, uh, watercolor paper. I don't think they revolutionize uh, the system, but uh, I didn't try it. As I have lots and lots of watercolor papers uh, due to previous scroll boxes and upgrade boxes. But anyway, uh, for the time being, I will um, only uh, speak about the paints. So they're as they're pastel and as I deleted them, they're very, very light. Uh, so I go back uh, after that with with a more opaque one. Uh, one thing in this box, uh, two things that, that were missing were a simple uh, pen, pencil maybe. If you are really beginning, you don't have a pencil and uh, also a liner for finishing uh, touches. Um, well. I have those and as you can see I used uh, well I used for the sketch a simple uh, red pencil but you can also use a simple graphite pencil and uh, for the um, for the line art I used a simple uh, big pen but anyway um, this box was quite fun if you're beginning with watercolor maybe th this wasn't the best uh, the best paint set uh, as it's really maybe too pastely uh, for people beginning with watercolors and it lacked uh, the primary colors uh, and maybe a white pan to make your uh, colors more opaque. But uh, anyway, uh, the J roll, I already, I, I always have problem with this type of uh, pen, so I don't really know how to use it, and I don't really like to use the to use it, because for me it didn't really work as usual. I don't know if it's a problem about the pen, I guess it's also me not using it correctly, but I can't wrap my head around this and uh, use it correctly. Anyway, yeah. um, just um, last uh, thoughts about uh, 
about this uh, this box the um, I I think the prompt was a bit resembling for me in the results as a previous color box uh, prompt where we had um, uh, color pencils and uh, it was also about uh, the the sea uh, so it's uh, maybe it's a bit of a shame that it uh, seems already uh, always the same uh, but uh, yeah I'm, I'm still trying to use the jerry roll and it uh, didn't work at all so <coughs> just uh, the um, final shot and uh, the nice part of removing uh, the uh, my uh, my protections uh, for this piece um, yeah just a simple uh, watercolor piece it took me maybe about um, yeah 40 well I, I guess one hour uh, counting the sketching part the um, and the uh, coloring the line out with uh, the weight between uh, layers uh, but anyway yeah i'm just signing putting uh, the the reference uh, so the scroller challenge from uh, number 78 from february 2022 uh, so where was Crowbox was uh, taking a peek under the sea uh, inspired by the feature artist uh, they have included a delicate color palette to capture the plentiful variety of the taste and scales you might see flittering about the coral reef these pastel shades uh, get brighter as you layer them so play with creating pops of color in your underwater creations anyway as usual i uh, wish you a good day a good morning a good afternoon a good evening or a great night whenever and wherever you're watching this video bye